yes hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here you know thank you for coming over to you know see what this channel is about if you are a returning uh viewer thank you again for supporting this channel pretty new i mean i've only started this last year sometime and you know with all the pandemic issues i haven't been able to come on on, on sit down and you know have some time in front of the camera plus you know just had our first uh, you know family holiday away and it was just amazing um after all that closure but today i thought i'd come on here for a quick one and i want to talk to you guys about how do we move how do we remove things out of the frame because sometimes we're in a small room like this one this is like my attic room and i've got it doesn't look it in the moment but i have slanted walls and it's a very tight space so sometimes you have to put things into frame to get um you know to get the shots that you want and for, and for today's exercise we're talking about this bad boy here now if you look it's very very close to me like literally you know that close my, my mic is and we know that the closer the microphone is to our subject the better the audio sound is so i don't normally have this set up i'm i've normally you know put the i'm normally rearrange the room so that the mic is out of frame but for today's exercise i want to show you guys my viewers how i would remove this if i had no choice but to put it into frame so there's a couple of things that you need to bear in mind for this to work successfully one you have to be 100 percent in control of the light because if the light keeps changing you know we're going to mask this out and if you know as you know when you're masking things um the lighting needs to be consistent for it to you know be believable so and two nothing you know needs to be moving so you you can't so your head can't be moving you know too close to the to the microphone um or you're gonna run into some serious issues so this is my microphone and I'm going to go show you guys on my computer how I would go about moving this or, or masking this out. Now, I'm using DaVinci Resolve 17 because that's the software that I use. I mean, I know there's other things out there that you guys might use, but I'm going to show you how I do this on DaVinci Resolve because that's the software I use for my editing. And I've grown to love it very well. Um, I've tried Final Cut Pro um, and I tried Premiere, but... I just find DaVinci a little bit more easier to work with. Now, I'm not saying it's better than the others. It's just, it works better for me. So first things first, if you just jump over to the computer, I am going to show you guys how this is done. So what you want to do is once you've brought, bring the, once you bring the imagery into your choice of editing software, you want to cut off the the one without the microphone in it as you can see here there's no microphone in that and there's microphone here because i'm going to use this as the masking tool and what you because i never recorded uh, a long amount to match the length of the full recording here's what i'm going to have to do i am going to have to um, turn this into a freeze frame um, and then i'm have to drag this the whole way through and the reason why a freeze frame can work is because there's nothing moving in the background and what you want to do is you want to go to your editing tools and this is the one you want to mask out so what you want to do is you want to go to your masking tool you want to get this cut out and what you want to do is just you want to make an incision about here because that's where the you know the tool the make that a bit smaller so we can bring that and the mask is done and what you want to do is you want to add an output alpha and then you want to just drag that and add that to here now as you can see i've missed the masking and i can just simply move that around and adjust it until i make sure that the microphone is completely out of the frame and once that is done you can go back to your frame and when when you 
now when I play it, there's there's the microphone is gone. And that's it. That's that's exactly how this is how you do it. And obviously you would grade the footage. Right guys, I really hope that you enjoy that quick, that quick, quick fix of how to move things out of the frame if you need to. Um it's 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 easy, it's not hard, it's very easy and like i said if you follow those rules of being in control of your light and make sure that nothing is moving then it's 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 you know it's a win-win right guys i really really hope that you enjoy that short tutorial of how to remove um stuff from your frame and it works for a lot of things if you want to if there's a light that you have to put in in the frame and you want to remove it later this is how this it will work the same same way so thank you guys for coming to my channel again um thank you for helping me grow this channel and i look forward to seeing you guys so until the next one peace i'm out